All right, today I'm gonna to talk about a favorite salad in our household, this chickpea and pita Greek salad. Here are the ingredients. Um, you can freeze the frame if you um, want to write that down and take note. The only thing that's not on there are uh, olive oil, some garlic uh, powder, and salt and pepper, but uh, and some sugar actually. Um, but anyway, first you start by um, preheating the oven to 425, drain and rinse your chickpeas, and then uh, dry them with a paper towel is what I usually do, and then place them on a baking sheet. You're going to drizzle it with olive oil and um, swarma spice, which is uh, really the key ingredient here that gives this a lot of flavor. Um, season with uh, salt and pepper. Um, I usually maybe throw a little garlic powder on there too. Um, then heat this on the top rack for about um, 18 to 20 minutes. Um, then next you're going to break your pitas into one inch pieces. Toss them on a separate baking sheet with the same seasonings as I mentioned on the chickpeas. Uh, the, the shawarma, um, olive oil, salt and pepper, uh, garlic if you like. Um, cook on the bottom rack for, um, do that for like the uh, last seven to nine minutes so that they all end at the same time. Um, and while that's happening though, you could half some tomatoes, quarter some cucumbers, um, and then in a, a salad bowl, uh, put about a fourth cup of dressing. Uh, I'm using Greek vinaigrette dressing. I like Ken's. Um, and another key thing here is to put a, a tablespoon of sugar in this. It's going to give it the nice tanginess. Um, and then add your tomatoes and cucumbers into that bowl with um, some spinach to make this uh, give you some extra um, healthiness to this, right? And chickpeas, feta cheese crumbled up, um, and then your, your uh, pita um, you can kind of mix in there as well. It's going to be nice and crispy. The texture of all these different things is so, so good. So you mix this well, again, season with salt and pepper, and then you're just going to enjoy this. And uh, like I said, it's delicious. Please let me know if you make this. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed.